Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to use scotch tape to get the kind of precise line you see with my eyeshadow right now. It's kind of a secret weapon of mine because I feel like it gives a really dramatic and fun effect to your eyeshadow. You can use it with bright colors, smoky colors, or even natural looking shadows and get a really crisp and clean look. So if you want to see how to get the look I have on right now, just keep watching. So to get started, I'm going to be using Benefit's Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer, and this also can work as a primer for your concealer. But this was just a mini sample I got, and I'm just going to apply that a little bit under my brow, across my lid, and just a little bit on my lower lash line as well. A little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to use a whole lot of this. And just using my finger, I'm going to smooth that out across my lid, blend it in really well, anywhere that I'm going to have a shadow. Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows just a little bit. Um, this is totally optional depending on what you do to your brows, but I'm using Laura Geller's Real Deal Concealer and just kind of a flat um, eyeliner brush and I'm going to conceal around my brows. I'm also going to fill in my brows and I'm just using a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. This is in Birch, looks like that. And just a little angle eyeliner brush, fill that in really quickly. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to take just some regular scotch tape, and I'm going to take about an inch to like an inch and a half of that, and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand, and I'm going to rub it onto my skin, because it's going to make the tape less tacky, and it'll hurt less when you go to pull it off your skin later. And to get the angle that I want, I'm going to follow my bottom lash line, and I'm also going to make sure I don't take it past the end of my eyebrow. Gently pressing that, and that's going to give us our line and our guide for our shadow. So I'm going for kind of a warm, bronzy, autumn-inspired look today. So I'm using an eyeshadow by Bare Minerals, and it's one of their loose pigments, and it's called Kudos. You can see that. And it's like a golden, kind of medium tone color. And using just kind of a flat concealer brush, I'm going to apply that all across my lid. And I'm also going to take it right up to the tape line. I'm going to take it into the crease, that way it's easier to blend the other shadows later. I'm also going to pop a little bit on the middle of my lower lash line, just using the side of that same brush. Okay, so now I'm going to warm up my crease, and I'm going into my Sephora eyeshadow palette, and I'm using this kind of red terracotta color. And to place it, I'm just going to be using this kind of dome-shaped eyeshadow brush. A little bit goes a long way, at least in this shadow. So I'm just going to lightly take that through my crease. Not worrying about blending yet, I'm just putting that color there. I like this brush for that because I can get really precise application of shadows. And I can just take a fluffy brush later and blend. I'm also going to take it just onto my outer V to start giving it some darkness and definition there as well. So now I'm going to take my fluffy brush, this is a MAC 217 brush, and lightly start to blend that out. The key to any kind of smoky or dramatic look is definitely layering. So this is not the darkest shade I'm going to put here, but it's starting to give it definition. And that is what I want. And also I'm taking it up to that tape line again. And I'm kind of following the natural shape of my crease, or my the arch of my crease, and just raising it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to clean off that dome brush that I just used a second ago. And I'm using this Revlon Colorstay Eyeshadow Quad. This is in Adventurous. And I'm going to this matte dark brown shade. And since this is such a dark color, I really just want this on the outer corner of my um, of my lid 
So I'm just placing it right there, making sure it doesn't go anywhere else that I don't want it to. Just barely getting it into my crease on the outside. And again, I'm going to take that 217 brush and kind of wipe it off a little. And go back and start blending. Make sure you have kind of a light hand when you're blending. Because they'll blend more evenly and smoothly that way. Those two colors actually look really nice together. Like a fall time look. I'm going to take that dome brush again and I'm going to put a little bit of that brown just on the outer corner of my lower lash line. You don't want to take it too far over to the middle because it'll follow that tape and you'll get like an awkward line that you'll have to clean up later. Just like that. And I think I like the way that's looking. Now I'm going to go back to my lid color which was that Kudos by Bare Minerals and using that same kind of wide paddle brush. I'm going to lighten up and go over that gold area again, just so it doesn't look muddy on that side. So as a transition color from my crease to my brow, I'm going to wipe off my 217 brush. I'm using kind of a skin tone, a very light matte shade. This is from the NYX Butt Naked Eyes collection. And I'm just going to take my fluffy brush after I've wiped it off and just very lightly go over the edge where that crease color stops. And this is just going to make it look more seamless. To highlight under my brow, I'm going to be using my MAC 242 brush. It looks like this. It's just a mini shader. And going into that same Revlon Color Stay Quad, it actually has a really nice kind of golden off-white. It does have some shimmer in it, or a sheen to it, I guess you could say. But I'm just going to pop that right underneath my brow bone. Gonna add a nice definition. I'm also gonna take this same highlight color and I'm gonna do my inner corner. I'm gonna take it on the lower lash line on the inside. Just a bit on the top of my inner corner. My upper lid, I mean. Okay, so now for liner, I'm going to keep it pretty natural today. I'm using a really dark brown um, eyeliner pencil by Bare Minerals. kind of looks like this. This is in color Black Coffee. I'm going to start by doing my waterline. A little bit on the outside of my lower lash. I'm not going to take it all the way into my inner corner because I want to keep that really light and bright. That. And then I'm also going to do my upper lash line, keeping it really close to my natural lashes as I can. And my tight line. That's pretty much it. I really wanted my eyeshadow to be the focus. So now, it's time for the big reveal. I'm going to take off my tape. And you can see that really sharp edge that that gives. I mean, it really is pretty. And you can use this with any other color shadow as well and get a lot of fun effects with it. But now, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And I'm using Urban Decay's Super Curl Eyelash Mascara. So that is my finished eye look. And I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and the rest of my face routine now because 
since the tape obviously is sticking to your skin, any foundation you do beforehand is going to come right off. So I'm going to, that's why I waited to do it after. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and do lips and cheeks and all of that and I will show you the finished look. So this is my finished look. I went ahead and did my foundation, cleaned up under my eyes a little bit. I contoured as far as cheeks. I just kept them really bronzy and warm to go with my fall inspiration. For my lips, I used Maybelline's Afternoon Tea, which looks like that. And it was a part of their summertime collection. But it's just like the color of your lips naturally, but boosted up a little bit. So just kept my face really warm, tied everything together. I really like this trick as far as using tape to get this really precise line. I think it's really easy. You don't have to use as many shadows as I did to get still like a really fun effect. So I hope you guys try this. If you haven't already, let me know what you think of it. And as always, thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you next time. Bye!